Well, just in tonight, schools in Becker are closed tomorrow because of this inferno still raging at a Becker recycling yard, releasing a huge dark cloud of smoke into the air. And people living nearby, even miles away, are demanding answers about what exactly they're breathing in. Danny Spiewak is live in Becker as new developments continue to come in. Danny? Well, Julie and Randy, the flames are growing more powerful here in Becker tonight. And the flames are part of an intentional strategy, believe it or not, as you see some emergency vehicles that are now coming through. Uh, but what you're seeing with these flames is an intentional strategy by firefighters as they are isolating a specific small pile of cars, essentially letting it burn so that the rest of the property can be preserved. And people here in Becker have been staring at this fire and this smoke for almost two straight days now. They have a lot of questions. They've been calling our newsroom, emailing us, wanting to know what they're breathing in here in the Northwest Metro. And although they've gotten some of their questions answered, they know they're going to be looking at this fire for at least a couple of more days, if not more. This fire will not quit. Never seen such a thing. Incredible. The spectacle cast a shadow over the whole Northwest Metro. That's a crazy shot, huh? Mesmerizing everything in its path. You can hear the explosions and stuff going on in there. Yeah, it's a lot blacker than it was. As Melissa Johnson's brother fights the fire, he's been on the ladder truck on the ground. She can only watch from the laundromat she owns across the street. Just hope that everybody stays safe. Winds are carrying the smoke miles to the southwest, well beyond the city limits of Becker. Pretty concerned for my wife who's pregnant and my kids and neighbors. From his driveway in Big Lake, Blake Schrader can see the smoke cloud and practically taste it too. It appears to be something from the fire. Definitely not good. As the smoke fills the sky, a consultant hired by Northern Metals will be testing the air quality as required by state law. Although evacuations haven't been ordered, the health department is telling people with heart or lung problems to stay inside. All that plastic and rubber that's still left over in the vehicles, it's not good. And the fire grew more intense as firefighters isolated one pile of cars to protect themselves and the rest of the property. As a result, this thick cloud is only growing in power. I know they've been kind of watching because they're thinking the wind might switch. All you can do is just watch it. Now, in terms of the health effects, the CDC has said that the toxins from this kind of smoke and this fire can have some short term and long term effects, but it really is uncertain this, that at this point. You know, the near future is really the concern here. And in terms of uh, this Becker facility, uh, the Northern Metals plant here wasn't even operational yet, but we do want to point out there were no serious violations uncovered by the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency. So that is something to keep in mind here as people will continue to press for more answers up here in the Northwest Metro. Back to you. Yeah, when you look at that huge plume of smoke, you certainly understand why they're concerned. Thank you, Danny.